Hey guys, a lot has happened lately, but I'm more than ready to start season two of Unknown Artists. I'm Antoine, and Salby Salvatore is with me for Tori Basilisk's own protection. I'll be honest, I was kind of surprised that after the recap video was uploaded, you immediately started to believe me about everything I said. It wasn't that video, but the other one. Which one? The last one's recap. No, it wasn't. Uh, wait a sec. Well, I understand now. Thanks. For showing me a minute of my life I'll never get back. Let me remind you that you have a video to get to after you're done showing me a blank, black screen. I couldn't even hear it. Oh. Sorry. He really doesn't know. We can explain to him at the video. <coughs> anyway. Neon Sphinx Foster, 1.58k subscribers in 6 193,000 views. Back in the 2010s, he did theories and reviews for My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. He also did reviews of old shows and movies from his childhood that people seldom or never seen. Kind of like how I review lesser known YouTubers. <laughs> his most recent videos, at the time of recording this, are anime reviews. One anime he's reviewed the most is Jungle Emperor, or as it's known in America, Kimba the White Lion. He has made a playlist of every review of every entry in the series from 1965 to 2009. I recommend that you watch this playlist so you can finally see that there's a clear difference between this and the Lion King. Or, if you're not entirely trusting of a small channel like this, then I'll put YMS's video in the description so you can watch it later. And while I'm on the topic of Neon Sphinx Foster and his Kimba reviews, there's a short story I want to tell. In a now-deleted video, he explained how a fan of his constantly pestered him to review episode 29 of the original series, Nightmare Narcissus. I don't know the specifics, and the situation is already over by now, but I feel I should mention it to show how fans can sometimes be with YouTubers, albeit positive or negative. <laughs> He's seemed to have stopped uploading as of last year with a review of Little Nightmares 2, a very popular horror game. Maybe he's gone for good, or just taking a long hiatus. Either way, he's a decent YouTuber, and I recommend subscribing to him for another channel which covers only Kimba content. Kimba's Kingdom. That's all I have to say for now, so goodbye and see you in the next video. They usually use the stones and power them through their state of mind. They have a black stone for power and a white stone for purity. When I got to this point in time, they went to get the purple stone. Possibly for some combination of spiritualism, mystery, and imagination. But you were the one that went to get it. That fudged up our future something farce. I know you hate me for getting involved in this, but you can't just, and I quote, lock me out. I'm literally the only wild animal here, so I'm naturally gonna rush into danger. And protect myself and others from it. You just contradicted yourself. That's not how your kind works. You're supposed to be cautious, yes, but don't just run into danger without a plan. No, not now. Not when I've gotten this far. The Mongols are near. Okay, now that time's about to drastically change. I think I have the right plan to counteract it. Selby, I'll need you to- God dang it, Selby! I'm just saying this is the part where Selby's BTK'd. I, luckily enough, have the time to make sure that doesn't happen. Stay here. 
got it. Got it. I am going to have a chat when this is over. So this is what Antoine meant. Ignore me, tells you to ignore me, or accidentally meets his doom also. Awesome. 